G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this episode. Now, um, if you are starting to become uh, invited to multiple different organizations or you're a consultant like myself and you're working with a a lot of customers um, or service providers or things like that, you may be starting to become invited to a number of different uh, teams uh, teams uh, in different organizations, in different tenants. Now, it's really hard to, um, once you become a member of quite a few, to then switch between different uh, tenants uh, inside of the client application. You have to go up to um, you know, the, the, the top right-hand corner and then change a tenant and then log in and get your notifications and things like that. And it, it's really hard to stay on top of everything. So there's a way in the web version of Microsoft Teams to actually install um, instances of Teams and different Teams tenants as a what's called a PWA or a progressive web app. So that means that you can have multiple different Teams open at the same time enclosed or encased in that personal web app. And you can turn on the desktop notifications for those web apps and you can get notified through those as well. So I just wanna go through the process of how you actually install Microsoft Teams as a PWA. Um, And I'm gonna use two tenants as an example. So we can see on the screen here that I'm logged in to the web browser as Alex. And you can see top right hand corner. I'm in Microsoft Edge um, and I'm also logged into my own personal tenant here. And you can see that I've got um, a little toast notification down the bottom right. When you open Teams up in the browser, you'll get this notification to say, uh, do you want to turn on desktop notifications? But I'll leave that one uh, to the next uh, next step. So I'm going to open up uh, Alex's browser instance first. Now, what we can do using these three little dots up here is we can go to apps and we can go to app manage apps, but then you'll see also we can install this site as an app. So when I click install this site as an app, we can actually name this application too. So I might say, uh, let's call this Contoso, like so, uh, and I'll call it Microsoft Teams. And you can actually edit the logo for this too. So it may not, uh, just so that it's easier to uh, to visually see on your computer as well. So you could edit this and you could add your own image. Now I'm just going to install that as a PWA now and it's gonna go and do its thing. And you can see here that it has now been installed. So I can say, pin it to the taskbar, pin it to the start menu, create a desktop shortcut. And also I can auto start this on device login, which I'm gonna leave off for now. So I'm going to go allow for that. All right, so now what we've got is a Contoso uh, PWA of Microsoft Teams, and I can interact with Teams in uh, in this web app. Okay, so I'm just going to minimize that for now. Um, But what you will see is when I hit the search bar two in Windows 11, in this case, and I start typing in Contoso, like so, you can see that it actually comes up in in this uh, search experience as well. So it comes up as an app that you can search. Now, let me just open up my other browser window here and I'm in my tenant. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna turn on desktop notifications for this and I am then in the top left hand corner, we wanna show notifications, we wanna allow that. So the next thing that we're going to do, and you can see I've got a a confirmation down the bottom right, the next thing I'm gonna do is now add this as a PWA as well. So I'm gonna go to apps and I'm gonna install this site as an app. So we can see here, what I might do here is actually give this a little emoji, I might go, Let's go wave, all right? So let's change over to this and we'll go, uh, actually, let's just go this one here and we'll go uh, Daniel Anderson, Microsoft Teams, like so. All right, so we'll install that as a web app as well. That's gonna install and I'm just gonna allow that for now. All right, so there we go there. We've now got uh, this particular um, instance of Teams now also as a PWA. Now, I'm just gonna minimize all of this now. Um, uh, Let me minimize this and this. I'll leave this over on the right hand side and now I'm gonna go to the start menu. I'm gonna go to Contoso 
and open that up as well. And you can see that we've got, um, once this opens, two instances of the uh, Microsoft Teams PWA. So, and with both tenants or both instances with desktop notifications turned on, I'm going to get those notifications pop up for me as well. So that's just a, a way that you may not have, have realized that you can open up multiple different tenants at the same time uh, and also uh, are able to get those notifications through to you as well. Instead of in the actual de uh, the, the desktop client, which is opened up here, having to then go in and change uh, the the tenant that you're going into or the the, the environment that you're going into through uh, that process there. You can install it just as a PWA. Something that I do a lot of, um, you know, working with multiple different uh, customers and tenants, um, I would install their Teams instance into a PWA just for myself when I'm working with those customers as well, uh, just so that we can communicate and collaborate a lot easier. And then and I don't miss any messages via uh, that process. So I hope that brings you some value today um, and I'll see you in the next episode.